Gardens, it's Robin with Rainbow Gardens, and our summer success video today is about spider mites. Today we're talking about how you can correctly identify, prevent, and control spider mites. Spider mites are very tiny rusty brown mites that suck the life out of your plants. When an infestation of these pests gets out of control, they can cause a lot of destruction and even death, and also spread easily to other plants. We generally see an uptick in spider mites in the summertime as they love the hot and dry conditions, but they can occur in other seasons too. Evidence you may have spider mites might look like this. Plant leaves look dusty or yellow speckled. Leaves then become pale, parodic looking. Eventually, leaves start to curl and become completely dried and shriveled. In severe infestations, webbing occurs. A simple test with white paper can help you determine if you have spider mites. Hold a piece of white paper underneath the foliage of the plant. Shake or thump the foliage over the paper and look for tiny mites scrambling around on the sheet of paper. If you find yourself battling spider mites, here are some tips for control. But remember, catching them early is best. Systemic insecticides are the most effective, but they are unsuitable for edibles or gardens that host pollinators. For edibles, opt for Captain Jack Spinosad II or Pyrethrin approved for edibles. Make sure to cover the entire plant under the leaf where the spider mites love to hide. Don't bother trying to treat a plant when an infestation is too great. Once spider mites have spun their webs, it will be a battle you will most likely lose. Put the plant in the trash, no composting, and chalk it up to a learning experience. Most of the time, it is plants that have been neglected and that are under stress, that uh, might be damaged, that tend to attract the spider mites, although healthy plants can be affected as well. You can greatly prevent spider mites just by offering your plants basics of what they need, such as consistent care, uh, proper lighting exposure, plant spacing, water fertilizing, and correct pruning may help you not develop an issue with spider mites. Spraying your plants daily with the hose can also knock these pests loose and send them in search for a new home. We hope this has given you some great tips on how to identify, prevent, and treat for spider mites. Here's to having a successful summer with Rainbow Gardens. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.